All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the Spirit and power Yahweh Bahashem Yahshai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole from the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm your brother, Mashiach Razaka from the tribe of Gad, coming through the spirit, from the servants of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as uh, Temptation. And I'm doing this lesson for myself again, first and foremost. Um, you know, I'm experiencing certain situations, so, you know, I want to apply this, this uh, you know, these lessons to myself. And, you know... You know, I don't really um, do lessons, you know, to just say it to other brothers and tell brothers to deal with stuff. And nah, I mainly do my lessons for myself first and foremost because of the situations that I go through. So that's why I do my, I do lessons to keep myself in the right spirit and in the right mind. So this is basically a rebuke lesson for myself first and foremost or to any brother that's new in this truth. And uh, this is uh, <clears throat> this lesson is going to be titled as temptation. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. But Yahweh Bashem Yashai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Right? So the Lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle. And right, when you come into this truth, all right, it's not going to be an easy cake, you know, an easy cake in the park. It's not going to be easy. Oh, you're the truth, and now everything's just going to get better for you, and then you're just good. No, you're going to go through a lot in this truth, all right? You're going to go through a lot in this truth. And it's basically the will of the Lord trying you individually. Because individually, each and every one of us, the Lord knows where to try us according to our own measure, all right? So the Lord knows where to try you. It can be with your woman. It can be on a plantation. It can be spiritual. You can be going through a spiritual attack. You can be going through anything, financial issues, you know, etc. Whatever it is in the flesh. But the Lord tries you, all right? The Lord knows where to try us according to our own measure, all right? And one thing in this truth is that the Lord, he's going to try you, but he's never going to push you too far. But he's going to try you just enough, you know, to try you. It's basically a test. You're going to be tested. You're going to continually go through temptation. Once you pass one test, don't think that you're not going to have another temptation situation because you're going to have one until your Shai comes back. You're going to always deal with temptation because it goes according to the curses. We have blessings and curses as Israelites, man. All right. So read again from the top. First Corinthians 10 to 13. It says, there have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to men. It says, but Yahweh Bashim Yashai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle. He's going to give you just enough. It says, but will with the temptation. It says, also make it the way to escape that ye are able to bear right so the lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle but he's going to give you just enough to try you and again the lord will send satan after you all right the lord will send satan after you satan can hop on your woman and you can go into a bad situation argument etc all right it, things can satan can hop on your children etc you'll go through different things different obstacles all right but you gotta you can't get angry or upset you just gotta know these things all right and you got to, you know, read some scriptures, apply them to yourself, because that's what I do. All right. So you got to be able to, to you know, um, know when you're being tried and you can't get angry or upset. I'm not going to tell a brother to deal with it because, you know, I'm not fully experienced, but I'm going through my own uh, situations. All right. But the best way for me possible is to do a lesson on it. It'll help relieve the pressure that I'm going through in the flesh. All right. It relieves the, the, the vexing. All right. So continually stay focused on the truth. All right. Matthew 24, 41. It says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. And that's one thing I prayed about before I did this lesson, because I just went through temptation. All right. I went through a temptation situation. It says, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. And you're going to be tried. All right. You're going to continually be tried. There's no shortcuts and obstacles array around it. You got to know when you're being tempted and you got to know when you, you got to know when you're being tried and you can't get angry or upset. It says, wish the Lord have promised to them that love him. So you're going to go through temptation. There's no avoiding it. All right. You can't 
just have, you know, you can't just think that everything's just going to go well all the time. And if you inject that think everything is just going well for you all the time, then clearly the Lord isn't dealing with you because the Lord is going to put you in, in, in situations. It's called temptation and you're going to be tried. All right. You're going to be tried. And uh, let me get. Uh, this is Mark 14, 38. It says, watch ye and pray lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit is ready, but the flesh is weak and the flesh is weak because we get upset in the flesh. We quick to get mad. We quick to get upset. All right, but you can't get angry or upset. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost because I'm vexed right now. And you can't get angry or upset. You know, you gotta, you know, pray about it. Read some scriptures, all right? And I'm telling myself this first and foremost, all right? You can't be angry or upset. You can't get angry or upset, all right? Just deal with it for myself. I'm talking about for myself, you know? You know, for me, I'm saying for myself, I gotta just deal with it, man, you know? And just ask the Lord to strengthen me and, and guide me through my own situation. I'm not telling another brother to deal with something. But I'm speaking for myself. I'm saying to myself in this lesson, I got to deal with it. All right. You can't get angry or upset. All right. This is uh, this is exactly the precept I needed. James 1 and 2. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. And that's one thing. Count it all joy that ye fall into diverse temptations. Because why? That means that the Lord is dealing with you. If you're going through things... You know, you're going through things here, man, and it's just getting wild and crazy, man. That means the Lord is dealing with you, man. Let's say you a Jake that, you know, you when you first, you know, before you came into this truth, you didn't go through nothing. You didn't go through anything at all. But as you started, you know, increasing in your journey, you start getting six months to a year to two years. And you just start going through, through that time, you just start going through a lot. That's a good sign. Because that means what? The Lord is dealing with you. And I'm going to get the precept out. Verse 3, it says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. And that word patience, it goes into the meaning of consistency or endurance. You got to still continue to be consistent through this. Whatever you're going through, you got to be consistent through it. All right. You got to be consistent and you got to endure through it. All right. It says, verse 4, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Right. You got to keep your mind focused on the Lord. All right. And you got to be patient, you know, which is consistency or endurance. And I got a precept. Hebrews 12 and 6. It says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth and subscorges every son whom he receiveth. Right. Who the Lord loveth, he chastiseth, chastise you. So the Lord is going to try you. All right. Again, and I said this many times before. All right. The same way you present yourself on camera, you're going to be tried off camera. That's why, again, and I'll say this again, I just you know, was speaking to my congregation. And I was telling brothers, don't don't do lessons about stuff if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing for yourself, examining yourself. Because the person who you proclaiming to be on camera, you're gonna be tried off camera. So don't be telling, don't be doing lessons about being humble and things like that, and you're not humble. Don't speak stuff that you not doing yourself. All right? Don't do that, because that makes you a hypocrite. So you wanna examine yourself. Really examine. Don't say, don't say it. Do it. All right? Do it. Because the, the person who you proclaim it to breathe, you you want to be like that off camera. Again, you don't want to be a Jake to be saying all this shit on camera. And then off camera, you're not you're not who you are on camera. That's a hypocrite. And you could be destroyed for that. All right. This is Hebrews 12 and 6. It says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth and subscorgeth every son who he receiveth. So the Lord is going to try you. It's not going to be an easy cake, easy cake park and a walk, man. Easy walk, easy park cake and a walk, man. However you want to call it. It's not easy, man. Oh, I'm in the truth now. This thing's going to get better. I'm just gonna, not going to go through nothing now. Now I came out of the religious world. I'm good. No, you're going to go through a lot in this truth. If you're in the correct doctrine and you're following Great Millstone and you take on this truth, you're going to go through a lot. And the Lord is going to try you according to your own measure. And the Lord will send Satan after you. That's how the Lord works. And how we know is when you read the book of Job. All right. But you got to be able to adore that. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and 7. It says, if ye adore chastising, and endure chastising the things that you're going through in this flesh the obstacles you know different things that you go through i don't know what it could be it could be with your eve it could be on a plantation it could be with a relative it could be with it with a heathen nation at your job it could be anything anything whatever it is a financial situation whatever that situation is you got to endure that and i'm speaking for myself i went through a lot being experienced all right the financial demon etc you got to endure that shit 
all right you can't get angry or upset it says if you endure chastising Yahweh will deal with you as with sons so if you if you endure through that the Lord is dealing with you but if you a Jake that just can't deal with this I mean I can't endure through it if you a Jake Salaki if you a Jake that can't endure through it all right then it may, may be that you're not of the elect you're just the call and not the chosen but you want to be the chosen all right because if you can't endure through it whatever the situation you're going through you can't endure through it then maybe you're not of the elect you know i'm not i'm not saying you're not the elect but maybe you can't maybe you're probably not because you got to be able to endure through it it says if ye endure chastisement i'm not saying off of my own vain opinion it's in the scripture it says if ye endure chastisement yahweh dealeth with you as with sons for what son is he whom the father chastised if not right because if, if you're not going through absolutely nothing in this truth and you've been in this truth and you ain't went through nothing it's a problem you should be worried because that means that the Lord isn't dealing with you. You're not going through nothing in your relationship, marriage, or whatever that you is. You're not going through nothing. Everything is just totally fine. And it's a problem. You really should be worried about that. All right. It says, verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, all right, you're not going through nothing. Whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. That means the Lord is not dealing with you. If you're not going through absolutely nothing, you should be worried because that's a problem. You're not going through nothing. All right, and that's something that you should be worried about. All right, that's something that you should be worried about if you're not going through nothing. All right, because we go through a lot in this truth, you know, and there's further more stuff that you're going to be going through in this truth. All right, but you have to endure that. All right, and the Lord will send Satan after you, and you can't get angry or upset. You can't get angry or upset. So I got a precept. This is. Hebrews 11 and 37 and let's look at what happened to the prophets that was in the truth and going back into Hebrews it says they were stoned which they were stoned you have prophets that were stoned it says they were sawn asunder they were tempted they were tried it says they were slain with the sword you had prophets that had their head cut off all right it says they were asunder about the sheepskin and goatskins being destitute afflicted and tormented we be tormented in this truth man we go through things in the flesh. Our mind goes through all these different thoughts. You got Satan and demons fucking with your head. Your mind goes through all these 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 carnal thoughts. You know, we got to fast. Pray to the Lord, man. We go through a lot in this truth. You go through a lot. All right? But you got to endure through all that. You know? Like for myself, I went through an anxiety issue. I had an anxiety demon on me for a whole year in 2020, 2021, man. And that's not... That plague, that spirit is, is, a, is, is a spirit I wouldn't want on any J. To have anxieties every single day being fucking bugged out. But that was my own temptation that I had to go through. Alright? That's my temptation that I had to go through. You know? There's brothers that go through many things in this truth. You got brothers that have the depression spirit. You know? They got the anxiety spirit. The the the, the anxiety spirit. The um the depression spirit. You know? Brothers be vexed. You know? You just you just be vexed here. It's, it's damn miserable here, man. But you got to be able to endure through all that. We get tormented in this truth, man. So if you're new, you're new in this truth, don't think that you're not going to go through nothing because you're going to go through a lot in this truth. You got to show yourself and prove yourself and show yourself worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. So, hey, man, you know, Lord, one is less than edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, Bashim Yahweh Chachodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations, and hopeful lake. Shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word of truth and sincerity. I'm your brother Mashiaka Razaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And, um, you know, Lord Wilderness Destin was edifying. So, again, man, you know, this is from myself first and foremost. You know, the water to Yahweh by Shima Shai for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. And, uh, Lord Wilderness Destin is edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.